So I am going to make this video to show you how to do a full skincare class with the repair line. Um, I just want to say I have moved everywhere I can move in my studio and the light is awful. I know it's awful. So you just have to bear with me. This is the best I can get. So the first thing that you're going to do is have everybody fill out the customer profile card. And then what I usually do is after they've done that, I kind of bribe them with satin hands like, oh, when you're done, you get satin hands because sometimes people are just like moving really slowly and I want to get started. Right. So. Um, with satin hands, the first step is going to be the hand softener, which is this one. You have them rub it all over and you tell them this is just going to soften up any dead, dry skin on your hands. And um, sometimes they feel like it feels too greasy. So I just tell them, we're going to scrub it off. Don't worry. I like to rub it in my cuticles. You can sleep in it if you have super dry skin. Um, you can also rub it on spots that have eczema or that kind of thing. The second step is the satin hand scrub. So I give them one pump of this. It comes white tea and citrus or fragrance free. And I tell them we're going to go to the sink to rinse and dry, but you don't need any soap with this. And then the third step after they have rinsed and dried is the hand lotion. This is the fragrance free. This is the white tea and citrus. Um, and you would match that to the scrub. So since I had the white tea and citrus scrub, I would use the white tea and citrus hand lotion. Um, the entire process should last through 11 to 14 hand washing, so you don't have to do all three steps every time you wash your hands. I personally like to reapply hand lotion more often than just once a day, but you, you know, you don't have to. That's a personal choice. So once they've done satin hands and everybody has done it and everybody has filled out the profile card, the first step of the skincare class is our oil-free eye makeup remover. And I am doing this with a tray and I have everything surrounding me and it's Oh, it's going to be fun. All right, so you want to shake it up to get it activated. Uh, it should look like this, right? I'll show it to you once it settles again. And you're going to give everybody a cotton round or a cotton ball, squirt a little bit on. Even if they say that they don't wear eye makeup, um, ask them if they've worn anything in the last three days. There's usually some hanging out on there. Uh, I put on very little this morning, and it's so gentle, it takes it right off. So this is a silicone-based eye makeup remover. Um, it's oil-free. And it actually also shampoos and conditions your eyelashes. So everybody's eyelashes are naturally curly, but we don't take care of our face hair, for lack of a better term. We don't take care of our lashes like we maybe should. So they um, get dry, and that's why they stick straight out. Once you start to use a conditioning eye makeup remover, they'll start to naturally curl again. And um, we also, this is so gross, but you can Google it, it's so true. We all have um, mites, like dust mites, skin mites that live like in our house, on our bodies, in our beds. And my hair is driving me crazy, can you tell? And um, this actually kills the eye mites. They like to eat, like feast on um, old eye makeup remover that's like gathered in your eyes. So as gross as that is, um, it's normal. We all have it. But this actually takes care of that problem, this oil-free eye makeup remover. Um, you can kind of see how it's settled and now it's getting clear again and it kind of is separated. Here at the bottom, it's more clear than the top and that's why you shake it up to activate it. So that is step one. Everybody has no eye makeup on. The next step is going to be to wash their faces. And I like to demo the Skin Invigorate brush. So what I tell them to do is everybody takes this cleansing cloth and open it up as big as it'll go, this big. And I don't know why. It doesn't seem to matter. I'm working on my words for this. Um, they find washing their face very confusing. I don't know why. I tell them to get, get your whole face wet. Just go in like this. And then um, if they are using a tray, I will have put this repair cleanser in step the well number one on their tray. Um, if they're using a skin invigorate brush, I will have them just take this brush and scoop it right into that tray, or, um, I can do it just like this. You can put it right on the brush. So, and I use the tiniest amount. Can you see that? Um, it's like, I made my repair cleanser last for 13 months, um, which might be a Mary Kay record. I don't know, but a little bit goes a long, long way. So this cleanser has age fighting. Um, it is a firming cleanser, so it really firms and tightens your skin. With the Skin Invigorate brush, the bottom button turns it on, the top button gives you two speeds, and it doesn't turn itself off, unlike uh, some of the other brushes on the market. So you can brush for more than 30 seconds um, without having to push any buttons. It, has, it comes with two brush heads and two batteries, and it can go in the shower. It is gentle enough to use on your skin twice a day. It cuts through makeup. So what we should all be doing is removing our makeup before we wash our faces, but very few of us actually do that. We just, at night, you know, we take one step and we wash our face. And what you're doing is you're expending all the foaming energy, cleansing energy of your cleanser on dissolving your makeup and you're not actually cleaning your skin. So I love this brush because it really gets my skin clean. And honestly, 
It's seriously the difference between brushing your teeth with your finger and brushing your teeth with a toothbrush. You know that how that feels so different? This is like that. It literally feels that different. Your skin is squeaky, squeaky clean. I have um, one of the other $250 brushes that's on the market, and it is so rough, even with the gentle brush heads, that it dries me out, and I cannot use it like more than two or three times a week. But I can use this brush every day. So when I was using that other brush, I was breaking out. Um, and this brush, I don't break out. So it's awesome. Um, and then for whatever reason, people get confused and they don't think they have to wipe their cleanser off. But when you wash your face or your hands, you always rinse the soap. So again, you take the cloth and you just want them to really, they don't want to be aggressive with it. I don't know why. So I try to make them laugh and tell them like, get in there, get your whole face in there. Um, so you want to get all that cleanser off. And you know, sometimes their cloths are like totally covered in old makeup and they feel gross about it. But you know. I, if they want another cloth at this point, I will give them one, but really you should only need one cloth for a whole skincare class. So now I've gotten all of the um, cleanser off my face. The next step in a repair facial is the deep wrinkle filler, which is not in the repair box, but um, the deep wrinkle filler will work best on a clean, dry face. My face is actually still wet, so I'm going to talk about this while it dries. Um, this deep wrinkle filler is almost gone, but I'm going to squirt some out. It is amazing. So this product will fill, so these lines on my forehead, these are expression lines that I've had since third grade. They are um, going away. They're better than they've ever been. Um, I was getting, this one's deeper than this one, but you know, like those lines in the middle. And I put it right here every morning. I put it under here every morning and I do it across my forehead every morning. So my face is feeling a little drier now. This is more than I would ever even give anyone at a skincare class, but that's what came out when I squirted it. So you, I call it spackle. You're going to put it on where you, wherever you think you want it and just pat. See, I'm not like rubbing. I'm not pulling. I'm just patting. I, if I'm doing repair facials with the whole group, like everyone is over 30, I will squirt a little bit of this in that area that's at the top of the tray that says Mary Kay that's a long skinny rectangle. I'll squirt like just the tiniest dot up there. If it's a mixed age group or women who seem, I don't know, sometimes you can just tell that people might be insulted easily, I will offer it, but not suggest that anyone needs it in any specific location. You never want to tell somebody, hey, you have deep wrinkles around your mouth. Um, I will say this product works incredibly well around the mouth. I have never been a smoker. I don't think I have lines around that area of my mouth. Um, so I didn't put it there, but it's really effective right here especially for anyone over 50, um, whether they smoked or not, that's an area that starts to get more wrinkled. So um, I hope you can see that it, like the lines in my forehead, this one is, you know, it's always gonna be there cause it's just an expression line, but like this is gone. It takes 10 minutes to fully take effect, but it um, absolutely works and it works for about 12 hours. So you can apply it twice a day and it will have more of a cumulative effect, but because it really is cosmetic, it's not, it's not like going to actually repair your skin. It just plumps it for 12 hours at a time. I only do it once a day. Um, the cumulative effect of doing it twice a day is pretty minimal. So for me, for $45, I'd rather have this last for six months and have it on every time I'm going out into the world than have it on while I'm asleep and have to pay for it twice as often because I don't, the cumulative effect is pretty minimal. And that's what Mary Kay has even said about it. So that's really not necessary to do it twice a day. So that's the deep wrinkle filler, step two. Step three, which is going to be number two on the, um, the, the tray that you're using is the Volu Firm Serum. This is a firming and lifting serum. Uh, you're going to squirt it right into that well on their tray. But again, I'm just doing it right in my fingers. And I would give them about that much and tell them to dot it all over their face and their neck. This is key. All skincare goes from collarbone to hairline. I didn't wash my neck because I, I don't know. I didn't feel like my neck was dirty. But everything else I do, skin from collarbone to hairline. And you want to go up and out because our hands are very strong and gravity pulls down on our faces. So we want to push this skin back where it belongs whenever we can. So I'm just gently pushing this in. Now this serum, it's a serum, so it goes seven layers deep. I do not feel it on the surface of my skin necessarily. It does not take the place of a moisturizer. What it does is it goes seven layers deep into your skin and it firms, lifts, tightens, tones, the skin that hasn't come out yet. So it's going to heal any sagging or any deep wrinkles that are in that skin before it's shown to the world. I will tell you that I was getting like whatever these are and this product is what has like pushed my face back where it belongs and given me like an actual like jawline again. So I swear by this serum, um, you can use it in other places on your body. 
If you have serious stretch marks, it will help those. There are other products that will also work. It is designed for like neck and face, but um, you can use it elsewhere on your body if there's places that you're concerned about. Number three and number four are the day cream and the night cream. And I have a really old one. This is a smaller one that does, we don't have any more. The product amount is the same, but this is the size that they are now. So I tell them, depending on what time of day the party is, to just, like if it's a daytime party, I'll say, you're going to go out in the sun later, so why don't you put the day cream on your face and the night cream on your neck? And then I'll talk about them simultaneously. So the day cream has SPF 30 in it, and um, it's just an excellent moisturizer with a lot of age fighting in it, but great sun protection. So there's five things you want to do to your skin every day. You want to clean it, which we did at the beginning. You want to exfoliate it gently, which I did with the Skin Vigorate brush. You want to tone it, which I did with the cleanser. It had that in it. Wow, I got way too much. So I'm going to do my neck with this too. And then I will just talk about the night cream. Um, and so you're going to clean, tone, exfoliate. You want to um, sun protect, which I'm doing with this day cream. And you want to moisturize, which I'm doing with this day cream. So within three steps... I have done all five things that my skin needs every day. So that's awesome that I don't need five products to do that. So this is, I got way too much. That's the only reason I'm still rubbing. This moisturizer is so light. It doesn't like ball up on the surface of your skin. It is not greasy. Um, it is so hydrating. Like my skin feels so soft right now. Um, so I love this because it has my sun protection in it and I don't have to put another product on. SPF 30 is the minimum that dermatologists recommend, so it's a great place to start. We should all start with a product that is at least SPF 30. The night cream, which I'm not going to demo because I already got <laughs> way too much product on, has pure retinol in it. So that is the only thing that has been proven to really cancel out and repair wrinkles on the face So and prevent them again. So this works while you sleep. I love anything that works while I sleep. And um, it, again, is an excellent moisturizer. It leaves your skin feeling really soft, really hydrated. So these two products work together. I will essentially not sell one without the other unless it's a reorder. But they also have, let me show you the pump. Um, the pump is like this. Let's see if I can get the light on it. There you go. So when I push this, it squirts out here. Let me do some put it on my neck. See, it just comes right out like that. I didn't even push that all the way down. And this much came out. That is that is honestly how much I would use for like my whole neck and face before I go to bed. Um, so this to me lasts a long time. And these pumps are airtight. Anything in Mary Kay that has age fighting is going to have an airtight pump. Because when retinol is and the other anti-aging peptides are exposed to oxygen, they start to lose their efficiency. So there's a lot of science in our packaging so that when you are using the product, you're getting all of the product benefits. In addition to that, um, any other companies sell age fighting things in tubs. And so people are like sticking their fingers into a tub. So A, it's exposed to oxygen, so it's not really working. And B, um, they're getting bacteria from their hand in their product. And that's not really sanitary. So this is, um, your product is always going to be as effective as it can be. And it's going to fundamentally change their skin. So number five with a repair facial is the eye cream. It comes like this. Let me show you the the tip of it. So it, what happens is you squeeze the tip and it comes out. I'm trying not to squirt too much out. And hang on, it's gonna... This one's almost empty. Need some eye cream. There you go. It comes out here. So I'm gonna dot that under my eyes. I'm, I'm never gonna pull the skin. And then I'm gonna flip it over. So this is where it came out. This side is rounded. I'm going to massage it in under here. So the skin under your, our eyes is the thinnest skin on our entire body and then the driest. It doesn't matter how much water we drink. Our bodies do not put any water towards our dark circles because our brain does not care if our skin doesn't look great. Our body is more interested in running our brain, running our kidneys, running our stomach, running our heart, running our lungs, all those things. So um, this tip is, again, scientifically designed to stimulate blood flow to reduce puffiness. I'm not pushing hard at all. I'm just gliding across because the eye cream has like lubed it up. So it just glides right across. Um, so it stimulates blood flow and it gets the cells moving around. This eye cream also firms and lifts. You can do it up here if you want to, but I would only say do that at night because it can have a plumping effect as it fills in the wrinkles and you don't want puffy eyelids during the day, but you can use this twice a day. 
Um, you can use it in the morning. It will not interact with mascaras or cause them to run or smear. And it really um, adds 98% of the moisture that this skin needs. So with any other eye cream um, that doesn't have this kind of tip, you're putting it on with your finger. Um, you And so in the class, they're doing that because they're not allowed to use this. This is my personal one because that wouldn't be sanitary, right? So make sure that you tell them to use their ring finger and to dot and dab, never stretch and pull. This skin is like tissue paper, so you can smooth it out again, but it will always retain, you know, that history of wrinkles. You know, you know when you get a used piece of tissue paper in a gift bag, right? We all do. So you want to have them use only their ring finger and just dot it underneath like that. But when they, I always show them and say, but when you buy it, not if you buy it, when you buy it, I show them this and then I, I don't touch my face with it, but I'll mind like I just sit here going like this. Um, and honestly, you can massage it for like a half an hour um, if you're sitting watching TV. Not every night, obviously. But um, it it does work. It does get rid of... Um, so there's multiple reasons that you would have dark circles. One is that it's blood pooling kind of in this pocket right here. So that gets that going. But it's gentle enough that it doesn't hurt the skin. The genetic dark circles are going to be um, treated with skin brighteners, which are in the eye cream. And then the lack of sleep, I always tell them I can't help you with that. So I can help you with two out of three. I can get you the moisture. I can, or three out of four, I guess. I can get you the moisture. I can get you the blood moving. I can brighten the skin. But you're going to have to bring the sleep. But I can do everything else besides that that will fight it. And that's 75% done, right? So um, that, like, people get excited about that. Everyone over the age of 20 should be using an eye cream because that is when collagen starts to break down between 18 and 20. And, again, the skin is so dry, it's the first to go, right? Um, okay, so number six is foundation primer. So I love this product. It has SPF 15 in it. I tell them it may sound like makeup, but it's actually skincare because it has SPF 15. And basically it's like pothole filler. So it's going to create an absolute windshield for your face, a smooth surface. It's going to fill in pores. It's going to fill in fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it's going to also be like, if you think about your windshield on your car, at the end of the day, if you ran your finger across your windshield, there's pollen, there's dirt, there's pollution from the outside world. That's what's in your pores, right? If your pores are open to the world, you need something in front of them. So I give them about this much and I tell them to dot it across your forehead, down your nose and chin, and then just feather it out. And what this is doing is giving you that windshield. So even if you're not going to wear foundation, you should use a foundation primer, and I, I wish it had a different name, but it's called that because it also has another function, which is that it acts like Velcro for your skincare. So, I mean, your makeup, I'm sorry. So your makeup, you know, your makeup is happy to stick to your face, but it loves sticking to the um, foundation primer, and the foundation primer loves to stick to your face. So this product will make your makeup last longer. It will last all day long without any reapplication, and it will prevent, like, sliding or creasing. I'm a huge fan of primers in general. I don't demo the eye primer at an initial appointment because um, I don't demo an eyeshadow at an initial appointment, but the same is true of an eye primer, a lash primer, a lip liner, and that is, I think, a conversation for another video, right? So um, this foundation primer is super silky. I've never had anybody put it on and say like, they always go, oh, like they love it. So um, again, it's SPF 15. So it's not cumulative 100%. So we can't say the day cream was 30. The primer is 15 now we're at 45. But I can confidently say science would back me up that we are closer to 45 than we are to 30 with that SPF. So, um, dermatologists are recommending 50. So they want, like everybody should have 30 or above on every day, but they're really recommending SPF 50. So this is getting us there and we're going to get there with the CC cream. So stay tuned. All right. So after the foundation primer, I have them, um, choose an elbow and we're going to demo the microdermabrasion on an elbow. So I'm going to choose this one and, um, I have them dampen it because you always, your skin should always be damp when you're exfoliating because that protects the skin. It allows the dead skin to come off more easily and it, um, sort of lubricates the dry, the healthy skin so that it doesn't get damaged while you're scrubbing off dead skin. So I will have put, this is the microderm scrub. Um, gift yourself this if you haven't. You should demo it at every appointment because people love it. It's $55 for the pair of what we're going to do next, but this is so worth it. You will not be sorry that you gifted it to yourself. So um, this is how much I'm going to use. Not much. I'm going to scrub that on my elbow, and people have like an immediate reaction. It's very abrasive. It's like sand, and I mean a positive reaction. Like they're like, ooh. So I tell them, 
The microbeads that are in here are perfectly round. They are engineered to be perfectly round and they um, are biodegradable. So uh, in December 2016, there was a microbead ban that went into effect and a lot of companies had to pull product off their shelves, but Mary Kay did not because Mary Kay has no carbon footprint and it is environmentally sent environmentally conscious and environmentally friendly company. So Mary Kay would not put a product that we're going to wash down the sink. They would not put a product like that on the market if it harmed the water supply. Um, and honestly, other companies did. Other companies' microbeads are made of plastic. Ours are made of, um, I think it's aluminum or aluminum. I can't remember. It's not aluminum. It's not the same thing that like an aluminum can is made of. But it is a naturally occurring mineral and it's biodegradable. So um, those beads are perfectly round. And what they do is they go into your pores 